Hello and welcome to the Self-Reliance Outfitters YouTube channel. I'm Matt Mercer, instructor for the Pathfinder School and the founder of the Black Hat Bushcraft channel right here on YouTube. And this afternoon, I'm so excited to be bringing you guys a first look at the new Campmaster edition of the PKS Kephart. And this will be the third version of a Kephart styled knife that PKS has produced. And this one is definitely unique in a lot of ways. I'm excited to show you guys the knife up close and give you an idea of how it differs from the previous models. I think you guys are gonna be interested in this one. Let's take a close look at it and put it to work. See what you think. Let's get started. All right, so what I have here is a side-by-side -side comparison of the new Campmaster Edition Kephart and the current production Kephart XL. Both of these knives are made out of 1095 high carbon steel. They're both full tang knives and they both come with curly maple scales. And even though this grain is quite different, they're both curly maple. The biggest difference that you see right off the bat from this angle is the fact that the Kephart XL is a five inch blade and the new Campmaster Edition is a four inch blade, but there's also a big difference in the thickness of the knife of the blade. The XL is a one eighth of an inch thick stock and the new Campmaster is 330 seconds. It's probably hard to see from this angle, but the XL is quite a bit thicker and it's a heavier knife. Again, they're both full tang knives, so they're both capable of some pretty hard use. However, the Kephart XL is really more of that one tool option or that heavy duty belt knife that if you have to use your knife to baton into wood to get to the dry material in the center for fire starting or batoning into material to make bow drill sets, this is really the knife for that. However, the Campmaster, again, is a full tang knife and it's definitely capable. I've done some light batoning with it and with good technique, it should be no problem. This knife really excels to me for a camp task knife, for processing food around camp, uh, processing game, for light duty carving tasks, making pot hooks, feather sticks, stuff like that. This knife really, really excels at that. Whereas this one, again, is that one knife that's gonna be on my belt, it's gonna be that only tool. This one really, really excels for that. If you look at the Kephart XL, it has more of that rounded broomstick style handle, which is very comfortable in the hand, but the Campmaster has slab scales. So it's about one half of an inch wide. It's a thinner, again, lighter and more nimble knife, but because it has the handle height here, it makes it very comfortable in the hand in all grip positions. Both of these knives are really among my favorites in the PKS line because they are so comfortable in the hand. So that kind of gives you a compare and contrast between the current model Kephart XL and the new Campmaster Edition. Let's take this knife and put it through some paces, do some camp tasks with it and see how it performs. Whenever I'm working with a new knife like this, I like to carve a few simple feather sticks just to get a feel for the knife in my hand and also get used to the bevel of that knife and kind of how I need to hold my wrist to get good results. So let's use this piece of tulip poplar and see if I can make a decent feather stick. And with a Scandi grind, which this knife is indeed a Scandi grind, it's really easy to make the bevel of that knife to your wood. And normally you can get some really nice results with that. A Scandi grind excels in wood processing and carving, things like that. And PKS does a, an amazing job of getting these knives razor sharp right out of the box. So when you get it, it will be ready to go right to the woods. And I can tell that this one is absolutely no exception to that. Is this just going right through this wood perfectly? So I'm pretty pleased with that and no doubt that this Campmaster edition of the PKS Kephart can handle these bushcraft style tasks. Another thing that's really important with a field knife is that it be comfortable in any grip position. And this knife has a little bit more of a narrow handle as I mentioned, but no matter how you hold it, reverse for chest lever grips or forward that hammer grip, it just fits your hand. Even if you choke up on the blade and use this like a draw knife for draw cuts, it feels comfortable and the blade is just wide enough to get your fingers on to make it comfortable. So no matter how I want to use this knife, it's comfortable. That draw cut's just perfect with this. Works great for peeling bark or for fine carving with spoons and spatulas and projects like that. Just feels perfect. And you can see how my pinky and my ring finger catch right into that finger guard right there. 
and then the rest of my fingers are catching onto that blade with my thumb uh, just very very comfortable in that grip and this is one of my favorite ways to use my knife i always have people tell me it's not safe but my thumb is there as a safety so it's very safe it's actually the safest way to use your knife in many respects in that you can see where the knife is meeting the wood whereas if i turn it around i can't really see because the blade's in the way i can't really see where the knife meets the wood but in this format here i can and so i tend to use my knife a lot to get really good control and this knife is just perfect for this i love it uh, really really feels comfortable now another thing i use a lot for safety is chest lever grips because the knife can stay in close inside the line of my body if i'm in camp with other people it's not a danger to others also it's a very fast powerful way to remove lots of material like if i want to carve a point on the end of this stick like this and that chest lever grip is very comfortable no hot spots with this handle and this thing just hogs right through the wood creating that point so very, very comfortable. This uh, Kephart blade design, it just lends itself to do so many things well. That's why it has really stood the test of time and probably why Horace Kephart loved this shape of blade so much because it, again, served him well in the field from food prep to woodcraft. It really can do everything and do it well. So what I have here is just a simple J hook, which I cut off a limb. And a lot of times what I'll do is carve a little pot notch or beak notch in something like this. And then I can use it to hang my bush pot over a fire. Just take that wire bell on the bush pot and hook into this. And that's one of the more involved basic bushcraft notches. So let's see if this Camp Master Kephart can do that. And we start that out just by carving an X at the base of our hook. We just make a stop cut one way we'll come back and make a stop cut the other way just like that kind of sure that up now i want to make sure my hook is here so notice how the profile of this blade i'm going to just put it right here and i'm just going to swing the knife down and it's going to go right down to that line where i made the stop cut the curve on the end of this knife is just very friendly for these types of tasks. Just cuts right in where I need it to go. As you can see, I'm using my thumb on the back of the spine. Now I just reinforce that stock cut. Now we're gonna come back on the other side. And what I'm gonna do on this is just use the base of the blade here. And cut down to that stop cut. Just like that, be careful not to cut the hook off. Just kind of reinforce that stop cut a little bit and now I'm just kind of swing the blade down to remove that material up to the stop cut now all I have to do is just come back in clean that material out to give us our hook and again you can see how I'm kind of using the curved belly of that blade right there near the tip and that's another thing that I really like about this knife is that it does have enough tip to do these finer crafty type chores. Some knives, and especially on Kephart, sometimes they're a little bit too rounded for my taste. But I do like to have a bit of a fine tip on my knives so that I can do things like this. You can see what I got there, a nice hook. That will easily catch the wire bell on my bush pot. And then I can use that to make a cook system. So you can see that notch is a little bit more of a challenge than some basic notches. But no problem with this Camp Master Kephart knife. So let's do a little testing with the spine of this knife and see how it does processing down this tulip poplar bark. fine material second to none when it comes time to light a fire and of course let's see how it handles a ferro rod one strike gotta love it 
right, so I hope you guys have enjoyed taking this first look at the new Campmaster edition of the PKS Kephart. And as you could tell, I really like this knife. And no doubt, I'm going to be using this thing for a long time to come. I'm sure you will see it in my hands many more times. I think that it's going to be a big hit with those people that get a hold of this thing. And I'm sure that you guys will enjoy it for all the reasons that I have expressed here on this video today. I want to let you know if you're interested in this knife, it will release on Friday, January 20th at 1 p.m. Eastern Time on the Self-Reliance Outfitters website. We'll have a link down below in the description box of this video you can click on that remember it releases at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Friday January 20th it won't be available until then but a lot of times when PKS knives release they go quick so if you're interested in this one you might want to jump on it anyhow again my name is Matt Mercer I'm one of the instructors at the Pathfinder School I appreciate your time your interest please make sure you've clicked that subscribe button so that you can see our upcoming videos from all of the Pathfinder crew and no doubt you'll get some good information here. We thank you. We appreciate you guys. Y'all take care. And until the next one, be safe. <laughs>